speaking of vampires, I watched Queen of the Damned for the first time ever. Um, yeah, recently. I don't think I've seen that one. Like, I, I, I remember seeing it at Blockbuster back in the day. Yeah, dude, it is hyper like the year two thousand. Like, yeah, movie. Um, where it's just, dude, it's it's like for there, it's it's like Need for Speed on PlayStation Two, but like a vampire movie. It's so weird. Um, and I watched Gothica it. was another one of those like hyper like two thousand. What was it? Or Gothica? I don't know yeah, if you yeah, that. exact yeah. same feel. Yeah, right? and I loved it. Like so, um, and Aaliyah, the the lady that was she's part of Destiny's Child, and she died. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Absolutely yeah. drop dead gorgeous. As like the queen of like all vampire lady, like super death queen. I thought it was yeah. awesome. I was like, this is great. And it was like it evoked this weird sexual tension 100 percent of the time, which I loved. I yeah. Yeah. Great. Um yeah, I like but, that stuff. You know, I, I'm a big fan of I was talking to Chris Gore, you know, we're both big fans of like the exploitation genre, like all those like Italian Jala movies, Italian exploitation, Mondo Cane. Um you know, there's some wild movies from back then that it's just, you know, people think that movie like what's weird is you would think that as we kind of move along through time that it'd be like, oh, we're desensitized to this stuff from the 70s. Yeah. And now, like, we can totally handle that. And now we can make movies and maybe even push further. But it's actually been the, the opposite. It's uh, films. They've gone woke politically, but they've gone way more conservative as far as like what they're willing to address and what they're willing to to um, what they're willing to show and what kind of stories they're willing to have. Um, and I don't mean conservative in a political sense. I mean it that they want everything essentially PG now. Dude, uh, you're bringing yeah. up such a great I've, I've been saying this shit for years, but I can't say it as smart as you like. <laughs> it's so weird how. And here's here's like an allegory for it. The there was a movement for years that still carries on today. The free the nipple movement. Yeah, it's like I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah, 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 there is no like, guy that's like, not for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, there, they made a movie called Free the Nipple. The movie sucked, but it was like a movie that was like this activist, like we need to get women to free the nipple. Look, I can go down to Zilker Park now, right? You go yeah. down to Zilker Park, you go to Barton Springs, and there's plenty of women doing topless sunbathing. I mean, I've been to the beaches in France. Yeah. You know, yeah. I spent a I don't care. Like, I really do not care if I see a woman topless sunbathing. I'm like, you know, let like she doesn't want the tan lines, she doesn't want the tan lines. Like, you know, yeah. uh, I'm like and I remember one of my friend's girlfriends, he he joked about being a lifeguard there, and she got so mad, so jealous. She's like, but there's topless women there. But like my girl and I, like, you know, she, she knows it's like, oh, I see a topless girl. Oh, no, I'm not just going to be like, all right, we're breaking up. This other girl's topless. You know, it's like, <laughs> come on. It yeah, doesn't work more, like that. The nudity is such not such, not an issue. And the thing is, cra <laughs> which is crazy, is there's all like all these women are like, we should be able to do whatever we want to do. And there's all these corporate companies that stand behind them. They should be able to do what they want to do. And there's free the nipple, free the nipple. Coca-Cola agrees. We're with the yeah. new feminist movement. But... All media is like, but if you show a titty, then you're objectifying women. And I'm like, so it, you, it's like a weird circle, like a circle of life. It's We're like, not afraid to show man titties. Not, no, not at all. So it's like, <laughs> it's like you can show your boobs if you want to, but if you do, you're being objectified. But you can if you want to, but you can't because you're being objectified. Well, so there's this I mean, weird like spiral. Yeah, I mean, like, like, and here's the reality of like any kind of art, right? Is that, um, uh. Well, for one, if you're in a piece of art, you are inherently an object. You are on a piece of celluloid, right? Yeah. Or you're on a painting. And the objectification goes both ways. I mean, like, you watch, like, Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, the dude, <laughs> Jamie Dornan, is is objectified in it. You watch Ghostbusters 2016, and Chris Hemsworth is literally just the... They really are That's objectifying him. That's the whole, him. That's the whole yeah. point is that they're objectifying him. Like, you see this with, like, all these romance novels. You see this with you know, all these kind of, uh, uh, these rom-coms and everything. And you know what? Like, it's, it's like, look, there's this sort of sexuality that's going to occur in the movies when you have hot people acting and like, let them be hot and let them be sexy. And it's, it's not a bad thing to have movies be sexy. Like it's not a bad, and it's not that it's, it's not even that they're even being objectified. It's just that, um, they're doing they're doing their part and if they're and if those actors agree to 
agree to do those scenes, then they obviously have no problem with it. And you should just say, okay, well, if they don't have a problem with it, I shouldn't either, you know? And like, and if you do have a problem with it, just don't watch the movie. Like you don't have to watch every movie. You don't have to like every movie. Uh, you know, I sure, I sure as hell don't like every movie that I see, you know, most movies yeah. I watch it is kind of going to whatever. And if the, like, I didn't watch cuties cause I was like, I'm not watching this, you know, I'm no. just not, I'm just not even going to subject myself to it. But you know, it's, it's, it's like the objectification too is such a, um, it's such an odd, uh, an odyssey away from the women who are doing this, who think that this fits the role or think that this is good for the piece of art that they're making. It takes the agency away from them and it puts it onto this sort of faceless, uh, faceless consumer. You can't say who is objectifying who. Cause like I watch a movie, you know, and there'll be, there'll be female nudity in it, but I'm still seeing the actress for the actress Yeah, of course. The performance. I'm of not course. going like, you, you, you know, so it's like, so, you can't argue that I'm objectifying these women, but then, but then who is objectifying these women? The, the, it, it's, it's this kind of vague sort of thing. It's, it's taken it away from like the real people who are involved with the making of the movie and putting it onto this kind of faceless mass that can't really be easily defined. Yeah. And it's, it's just a catch all. And I don't think it's a good argument. I agree. 100% dude. It's, it's really out. It's outrageous. And I think it's played out to be honest. And speaking of being played out,